Hey everybody, welcome to the intersection of sports and marketing. I'm Brian Cristiano and this is Out of Scope episode number 20. What would I tell my 20 year old self? All you marketers out there need to listen to this. Sports marketing expert, Brian Cristiano. Brian Cristiano. Brian Cristiano. Marketers and advertisers and brands always have to keep in mind, you have to play to the state of your audience. Endurance sports athletes are absolutely fanatics. Having a Facebook page doesn't get you any business, but doing it right can be quite effective. When I was 20, I was, let's see, I was just finishing up my associate's degree, was kind of in between stuff. I was running my super small ad uh, production company on the side, producing local TV commercials. I was trying to get that off the ground, was figuring that out. Um, it was an interesting time. It felt like the world was my oyster, all that fun crap. Um, but it was also super scary. And I, I, since this episode 20 was thinking, you know, what, what can I do for special for episode 20? And I think there's, there's a lot of people either out there that are 20 years old or just about give or take or, you know, and or are in a position in their life where they're just trying to make a big transition and might have some worries, right? I mean, that was the big thing for me when I was that young was, a, am I doing the right thing? B, should I have a regular job? C, can I make it in this industry? B, I don't know anything about business. What the hell am I doing, right? All these questions and, and concerns and all this stuff kind of runs through your head. And as somebody who was naturally an entrepreneur myself, um, who started, you know, really my first business at 16, making a skate video, selling ad space in there to local skate shops, and then getting worldwide distribution and selling 4,000 copies before I could even drive a car legally. Um, you know, like that's what suited me, right? Was just trying to figure out like, what could I do? How could I do it differently? And screw all you, you're all wrong. I'm gonna do it my way. And I think what's interesting is my 20 year old self would tell my much older self right now that keep doing it your way. Don't listen to the crowds. Don't listen to everybody else. Don't worry about the noise. Don't worry about what every other business and company is doing. You know what you're doing. You have a vision, go for it. I think that's what my 20 year old self would tell me now. And sometimes I wish he was there to kick me in the ass and remind me of that because um, you know sometimes even now you get a little comfortable, you start worrying about too many other things and I think it's maybe a bit of that you know, innocence that you had back then where you're just like, and you're not worried about the big picture, you're not worried about the losses, the potential losses, you're just thinking about where you can go and I think you need to keep that forever but to be really successful but you know, now that I've been through so much more of life and business and everything and had so many more experiences and learned things the right way and learned things the hard way, still learning things, what I would tell my 20 year old self is, you know, don't lose the vision. The vision is the most important thing, you know, of, of anything you do in life, in business. You really have to picture the end goal. Like, what are you doing? What do you want five years from now? What do you want 10 years from now? What do you want 20 years from now? What's your end goal? Because if you don't have that goal, or at least that you know, 5, 10, 20 year goal, if you can't picture that in your head, then you're just kind of making it up as you go along. And you're just, you know, life takes you down one path and then the next thing you know, you're on another path. And if you don't have a clear vision of where you're ultimately trying to go, you just kind of end up wandering around. You have to have that clear vision. Where am I going? What do I want to do? What do I want from life? What do I want from business? I think that's the first most important thing I would tell my 20 year old self. I think the other thing I would say is can always have passion, right? I think passion drives everything. Passion is what has grown this business. Passion is what closes sales. Passion is what, you know, drives messaging. Passion is what gets you up out of the morning. Passion is what gets me on the bike to train 12 hours a week, even though I'm completely exhausted from working you know, my butt off and just being old and tired, <laughs> right? Passion is the key to life, the key to success, the key to just feeling good, right? Be passionate about something. You know, that drives everything, right? Your relationship, your business, um, everything that you do. Be as passionate as you can be and don't let anybody talk you out of that because there's so many people that you'll meet along the way. Try to say, oh yeah, but this, or oh, well, it's not that good, or oh, you know what, you know, you're crazy. Like they're idiots, they don't know what they're talking about and they're not living 
the depth of life you can live when you're just like super passionate and you really genuinely believe everything that you're saying and you're trying to learn more. Um, I think that takes me to the next thing I would tell my 20 year old self is always be learning, always. You never can learn enough. You can't absorb enough. There's always something new to learn. There's always something that you haven't tried. There's always something, whether it be new technology, whether it be new business rules, whether it be um, just, just reading a book, a biography, whatever it is, I would say to, to just always be learning. Make sure every day you're learning something new, every single day. And and I think the other part of it that I would tell my 20 year old self is like, don't waste so much time with the nonsense stuff in life, right? Like watching TV shows that you really don't give a crap about, right? Like not, and I'm not saying not to watch TV shows because I do, right? Everybody's got their guilty pleasure. You need some time to just like let your brain turn off, think about nothing and have some laughs. That's totally cool. If you genuinely like it, great. But don't watch something because it's the new show that's on TV and you watch the first episode and you're like, ah, that's okay, whatever. Stop watching it. Don't waste any more energy on that. Find something else that you're passionate about. And what I try to do and what I would tell my 20-year-old self now, and I did it then, but I would tell, I really reiterate it, would be to take any of that extra time, whether it's watching TV or reading or listening to music, to try to base that around things that can teach you something, whether it be watching documentaries or you know, reading a biography or reading a business book um, or learning something new or trying out something different. Always try to spend any extra time you have on those things. And you can base it around things you like. You don't have to learn something or read or, you know, uh, uh, you know, a document or watch a documentary on something you don't enjoy. Like do it on things you like, but learn something new, right? Like, you know, you only get one shot at this. Just, you know, jam as much in there as you can. You might find something new out of it that you didn't know before and lead you to something better. And I think the last thing that I would, at least I can think of right now that I would tell my 20 year old self is, just have f***ing fun, man, right? As stressful as everything gets, as like getting so worried about losing a client or, you know, not doing the right thing or making the wrong decision or not getting exactly where you thought you would be at a certain time or whatever it might have been, like don't get stressed over that stuff. It's not worth it. It's absolutely not worth it. Everything in life should be fun. It can be crazy, it can be strenuous, it can be tough. But tough can be fun. Tough can be a learning experience. Tough can be exciting. So always make it fun. Make everything a game, right? Like just play to win, play to have fun, play to learn, play to be passionate with people, with your business, with everything. And, and, and you know, everyone I think tries to say, you know, have balance in life, right? Like, oh, you need balance in your life. Everybody tells me I need balance in my life because they're like, oh, you work a million hours and you're, you know, you're running around, you know, a million miles an hour and then you're out, right? You're not just out riding your bike casually, out racing your bike and training your bike. Like, where is there, you know, there's nothing in between. You get barely enough hours to do the both of the two and they're like, oh, you need some balance in your life. And I'm like, that's, that's so crazy, right? Like, what's balance? Balance is like, putting two equally weighted people on a seesaw, you just kind of like sit there. That's boring as hell, right? I would just freak out. I would, I would go crazy. Like the extremes of life is where the excitement lives, right? Like don't worry about balance. Go for it all. Do different things on different extremes, right? Like, but go all in. Do everything all in and go in on the extremes. Don't go for balance. Go for all in. Balance is mediocre. That's it. It's what I got. It's what I told my 20 year old self. So I wonder if I would have thought those things back then or I wonder what I'll tell myself now, 20 years from now. I don't know. Let's find out. Maybe that's episode 1000. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe to our podcast on iTunes and to YouTube. Make sure to check it out. Um, leave me some comments. What would you have told your 20 year old self or what would you wish you knew then that you now know? Oh!